What's up guys, Arnoldo Tencio here and today I want to talk to you about the new Revolution Face Tool plugin. It's an incredible tool that allows to capture every emotion and gesture of our characters in a completely new and groundbreaking way. With Face Tools, we can bring characters like Vegeta from Dragon Ball to life in a way we have never been able to before. So, let's make it happen. Okay guys, prior to starting, I suggest gathering reference images of the original character in different moods or situations. This way we can absorb every detail for crafting its expressions. So, I'm going to explain how to use the new Face Tools plugin to bring Vegeta to life and capture his iconic expressions in detail. To start, I recommend using the base character Eddie since he's a stylized character. You can find him in the Content Manager panel of CC4. We take the elements we're not going to use and delete them, leaving only the body. With this character as a base, you can explore all the functionalities of the plugin and create truly impressive expressions. We can begin by customizing Eddie's base appearance by resetting his sliders. With the sliders in CC4, we'll adjust the proportions to make him more similar to the anime style. It's advisable to change the dentition to a more linear and consistent one. We can find a more stylized set in the teeth section displayed in the content menu. Once satisfied with the result, we proceed to use the Face Tools plugin, which you can find with a dedicated button in the modification panel at the end of the list. Once the plugin is installed, a pop up window will appear giving us different options for exporting to ZBrush, and in this case, we just need to select the default settings. As you can see, this process will send the character to ZBrush. Upon completing the export, you'll see the Face Tools plugin in the Z plugin menu. Quick tip If you notice that the character model is exported improperly in ZBrush before this step, consider the following configuration to ensure it's done correctly. Go to the Preferences menu, and in the Import Export panel, the settings should be as shown on the screen. Once the export is finished, we can find all the pieces that make up the character. Head, body, tongue, eyes, and teeth in the Subtools panel. Notice that the head is separated from the body. This is because the Face Tools plugin focuses on the head and its facial expressions. As you can see in the Face Tool menu, the Detail Layer button is activated. We deactivate the Detail Layer since Eddie's base character is stylized and does not have these details. We will add them later on. Face Tools provides us with the model with a high level of subdivisions when entering ZBrush. In this case, we have six levels of subdivision. Before starting to sculpt, make sure to start this process at the lowest level. Face Tools offers the option to visualize the boundaries of each muscle section. This seems super important to me because it allows us to take care of the boundaries of each section and manipulate the topology correctly according to the style of our character. For example, in the style we're handling, the eyes have a very particular triangular shape, and with the range visualizer, we can see where the eye begins or ends, its upper and lower parts, and thus maintain a good order to achieve the expressions correctly. As you can see, I placed a plane in front of the head and inserted a texture with the character's face to precisely match its proportions. When you're satisfied with the sculpting results, click on the Update to Character Creator button. A pop-up window will appear on the screen, divided into two sections. On the left side, we'll have the options for the main updates of the base model, and on the right side, for the expressions and wrinkles. In this case, we only modified the base model, so we deselect the other options and proceed to click on the Update to Character Creator button. Character Creator will show a pop-up window with some options regarding bones and others, but for now, we'll use the default settings. Now from the Content Manager, we'll swap out the eyes for ones more in line with his style. Next, we'll notice the Sculpture settings with a before and after. Gradually, we're getting closer to the original model. 
Before starting to sculpt the details of the expressions, I prefer to start by giving color to the skin through polypaint. Since it's an anime style character, this will help us appreciate the changes better in the following steps. Click on the diffuse button to show the diffuse map. To start painting before, we need to convert the existing texture to polypaint. To achieve this, activate the MRGB channel button found in the draw panel and finally press the polypaint from texture button. After this, we can turn off the diffuse option and start painting our character. Next, we take advantage of the texture offered by Eddie since he's a stylized character and these textures are closer to the results we're looking for. We paint some skin details in various areas of the face such as the eyes, eyebrows, ears, nose and skull to get closer to the original style of the character. After finishing painting, click again on Update to Character Creator, but this time, make sure to press the Poly Paint Diffuse option in the Export pop-up window. Now in the Gozi pop-up window, you'll see the option to apply the head color to the body. In the Color Update, you will see that the color we added to the head automatically matches the color of the body. Now that we have a good base ready and painted, it's time to add the smallest details to our character's skin. To start, we need to set the subdivisions of the model higher. In this case, we have six levels, so we set it to the maximum to have a more defined mesh. Then activate the Detail Layer button to visualize the skin details, and to start editing, press the Record button in the Layers panel. This will allow us to record all the details we make on the skin while sculpting on it, and when exporting to CC4, it will be baked into the normal map. Now I begin to add some base skin details using noise for certain parts of the surface. We can also utilize specific preset brushes in ZBrush to create finer details. Again, when we finish the details, we update by pressing the Update to Character Creator button. This time, we only need to select the Detail Normal option in the pop-up window. As you can see, the normal map has many more details and our model looks even better. I will show you a before and after with the results of this process. Before we move on to the next stage, let me quickly show you the progress I have made on the accessories like hair, clothing, gloves and boots. This helps in getting the character closer to the original. Okay folks, we've managed to achieve the appearance we wanted. Let's start working on custom expressions to bring our character to life. In this section, we'll focus on ensuring that the expressions are in line with the topology of each facial section and that they can be optimized. In the Face Tools plugin panel, we'll find the expression section and we'll see that it has a list of 13 sets of facial expressions that we can use to achieve the character's original look. You can notice how each of these expressions corresponds to each muscle group of the CC4 facial editor. If we want to modify these expressions, we deactivate the detail layer option to hide the details we worked on previously and go back to the lowest subdivision level. Then press the update eyes teeth, and tongue button so that these objects are automatically updated and can be modified along with the expression. We will start by working on the jaw open expression, which is quite representative in this anime, since the character's expressions are quite noticeable at times when they're battling each other. While we sculpt and modify the expression, it's important to consider sculpting in all three axes, X, Y, and Z, not just from a fixed point of view. It can be a bit misleading since we're trying to achieve the appearance of a 2D anime character. 
I recommend using the polygroups view and isolating each of the groups offered by the plugin. This way, it's much more comfortable and easier to edit the parts of the expressions that overlap each other. While we're adjusting this expression, we can also tweak the teeth and tongue to align with the expression we're aiming for. So we proceed to export to CC4. And now we only select the option Update Expressions Wrinkle. We select Expression Morphs. And finally, we select only the expression we modified. In this case, we only modified the jaw open expression. We update and wait for the results in CC4. And using the Edit Facial menu, you'll notice the noticeable change in the customized expression on the character's face. Now let's continue with one of the parts of the face that, for me, is one of more representative of Vegeta, his eyebrows. As you can see, no matter his mood, this character is always frowning. Select the Browse Drop expression in the Face Tools Expressions panel. Repeat the same process as in the previous expression and update to CC4 selecting the same parameters in the export panel except that we change to the current expression browse drop. Repeat the same process for the other expressions you need to modify from the list in the Face Tools panel. Now let's see how to adjust the wrinkles in the expressions. To start, we'll adjust the subdivision level to the highest. In this case, we have six of them. Note that wrinkles will only be visible when one of the expressions is activated. Once this is done, we start adding more details to the expression, hoping to get even closer to the original model. We'll take advantage of this process to mark the expression lines with polypaint. We repeat the process of converting the texture to polypaint as we did before and add them. While we're working on this expression, Let's add some veins that appear above the eyebrows when Vegeta furrows his brow. Finally, when exporting to CC4, we activate the options Expression Morphs, Wrinkle Normal, to add the details made to the normal map, and the option Wrinkle Diffuse, so that when we use the expression, the lines are marked and have more impact on what the character wants to convey. Now we can see how the expression lines are marked in the center of the eyebrows. This way we can play and try each expression to achieve the desired results. Repeat the same process for each expression you want to detail with wrinkles and expression lines. Okay guys, I hope you liked this tutorial on how to bring the expressions of your favorite characters to life with this wonderful tool. You can generate other versions and transformations of Vegeta to take advantage of the versatility of this great software. Stay tuned for more lessons in the future. My name is Arnoldo Atencio. See you next time.